welcome back to my another video so yeah before we made mountain hills mist sky and all these distant trees with palette knife so today we are going to make little path some rocks and maybe one or two trees here i hope you'll enjoy this another tutorial of palette knife so this time let's start with palette knife and maybe ochre color for this path i'll be using little ochre uh, bond sienna maybe white orange let's see as we keep doing we'll know it but i'm gonna use it so with this see i'm mixing it properly picking picking it up pulling it down see same process right maybe little white i want to add here or maybe little brown then i'll mix it see so for the path and all these rocks i'll be using these colors only okay see i'll pull it right here see maybe we'll have little rock that's mixed with the path maybe one here as well right this is the mid tone or you want you can add as many tones as you want see okay maybe we can add this tone as well yeah this will be a very easy thing in our painting i mean very simple thing okay okay let's add more of this color so little yellow ochre oops white right and maybe little brown that i already had here i'll just give a very good shape first and then we'll start working on that more see taking it very much this time so many colors on palette knife and then yeah see you just pull it the way you want see like this yeah okay i think this is good for now let's cover it all part with this color i'm just pulling it very randomly you can do it in the same way right see it looks funny right now but it will look better afterwards okay now let's make more tone there and add it all this dark mid tone we'll add a highlight at last so yeah maybe i need more dark in some places right see i'm taking taking it here and then just pulling it down the core way okay maybe see i'm using the tip of my palette knife like this while making all these rocks and stones give very random shapes you know don't give this straight type give everything see this looks a bit right okay some more here maybe some direct brown i'll add there okay maybe we can add some dark brown here or mix it a bit a bit here like this see it's getting good shape right at the edge of your palette knife and then just pull it here and there maybe i want this part to be very dark all the shadow you know i mean the place where there's no light and all see maybe we can add or make the stones like this see there will be so many different 
types of stones and this is one of them see i'm just pulling it very randomly right and always make the closer part little dark and that will give very good effect in the painting okay see this looks very rough now now as we keep adding highlights it will look more better let's take little green little uh, chrome yellow and mix it and maybe little touch of white right and get this green color we can add this color somewhere here because it gives the little effect of grasses that we have there see if you want more dark you can make it dark right and at the edge of your palette knife again and then just pull it don't overdo it only in some places it will look good right yeah maybe somewhere here as well see i'm using this very randomly you know you just need little practice for it okay i think this is good maybe we can use little dark green in some places maybe somewhere here dark green yeah see i'm just using tip of this this is very important i'm keeping i'm repeating it again and again the tip the a's and all because it's very important see this is what makes our painting palette knife painting good you have to be very careful about this that's the reason i'm repeating it again and again okay now this looks very rough you can see it here now after adding highlights it will look much better so for highlight color i'll be using the same color that is uh, chrome yellow and white this time more white i'm mixing see and then yeah only in some places the places you want highlights to be don't do it more otherwise your painting will not look nice see i want somewhere here here and yeah that's it and this side a bit right and yeah the path see just pulling it very lightly remember because all this color is very wet that's i'm that's the reason i'm not pressing it hard on the canvas otherwise it will not look nice see that is of your palette knife here and then just very light is just pull it i can pull it right you can do the same and see i really love all this effect very tiny tiny effect you know and all these patches that we get from palette knife that's the real charm of palette knife okay see maybe we can add more highlights this side as well right little this side not everywhere and here okay i think this is good for now right now maybe i'll uh, use a uh, direct white in some places but it's your wish whether to use it or not but i want to see only in some places very little not much okay maybe little here right little bit here here just a touch in some places yeah here as well see 
it looks nice now maybe see we can add more dark colors to make our painting a little more beautiful i'll use little uh, brown and then tossed little blue maybe see we need some dark parts see gives good effect there the path and all right okay this time i'll be using little black only in some places that i want the part to be very dark only in some places see just touching it just touching with the tip of palette knife here maybe here yeah maybe just a one point here right or like this see maybe some here not much just touch in some places right okay so what else can we add in this painting maybe a tree right tree or bush or whatever it doesn't matter okay i think this is good for now the path and little rocks that we have on the path okay this is nice for now okay let's add a little tree here uh, I'll use black and green I just want that thing to be very dark and bright okay just like this at the edge of your palette knife and maybe yeah I want that tree okay yeah to be here another one just here i don't want many trees just two, two trees will work perfectly see now again if you haven't watched this video how i made it you do it and it will be easy for you to make this tree see but i'll explain it again all this color are here and with the tip of your palette knife just pull it right yeah okay this is done right now i'll take little yellow and green and mix it very well okay I think maybe we can add little orange just a touch okay now again at the here's the tip of your palette knife and then just touch it in some places right maybe some here as well yeah I think this will work perfectly for now maybe we can add some more in this one right okay that's good for now so let's add maybe direct yellow or just mix little white in the yellow and we already have little green here and highlight it again Remember every time the highlight should be lesser than other colors, okay? Most of the time is like that. Yeah. Okay, I think this is good for now. Right? Now let's just give a branch 
to this tree I used direct orange direct orange yeah see now that's a very good painting right maybe I'll get little orange right and put it in some places you know the path the nature is always so colorful so yeah that's how we are gonna make our painting okay I hope you enjoyed this another palette knife painting lesson if we enjoyed and watched all the lesson please comment below and let me know and also let me know what you want to see next and maybe I'm gonna make more videos about fan brush so how, how I use them uh, what type of thing I do with this thing okay so get ready for that till then have a nice time take care bye bye